Well, welcome to the old classic car YouTube channel. In this video, we look at a huge variety of classic Austin cars, vans, lorries and pickups that we've seen over recent years. If you're a fan of these old Austins too, please say hello in the comments and click the like button. Thanks for watching. Well, okay, we'll take in pole position is a Austin A55 Cambridge Mark II, Shropshire registered. These were powered by the 1489cc B-series engine. And that is followed by a Maxi of the early 1970s. Next up, an Austin A40 Dorset. This is a very rare two-door version of the Devon Saloon, built between 1947 and 49 only. We mustn't forget that Austin produced commercial vehicles, vans, lorries, and here is an example of the Austin Lodestar of the 1950s. Real rarity now, the 10-4 Ripley Sport of 1936. And the Allegro on the saloon in the foreground and the estate version in the background. The cutaway sectioned Austin Mini Mark 1 now, presumably for motor show purposes. That's followed by a rear three-quarter view of the same car. This was down at the British Motor Museum at Gaydon. Here, an E35 van in the typical grey colour, extracted from a barn. And also tucked away for many years was this Austin 7 Special that I found in 2009, based on an Ulster. Also needing a little TLC is this just post-war Austin 10 saloon. Here we have the Austin A60 Cambridge. This was powered by the 1622cc version of the B-series engine. And also needing a little TLC is an Austin J4 pickup. Sticking with light commercials, this is the A40 1000 weight pickup based on the Devon of the early 1950s. Looking slightly dusty as a circa 1936-37 Austin 10 Cambridge. Down to the NEC, and this is a very rare Austin A70 Hampshire. And to the vintage era with this lofty Austin Saloon. I'm guessing a 12 horse car. And here's a very unusual vehicle, an ambulance based on the Austin A135 Princess of the mid 1950s. This is an early version of the Austin A30, the AS3 type. Note the fuel filler cap on the rear corner. On later cars, that was on the back panel. A Mark 1 Mini of 1965. Continuing with the classic Austins, here we've got a RF966, an Austin Ascot. Sadly, that registration is now on a modern Toyota. And a J40 pedal car. SJ848, that's a lovely Austin Light 12.4 pickup from 1935, powered by a 1535cc engine. And here we've got a rear view of an A40 Mark II Countryman with a lift up rear window. A55 Cambridge Mark I. This is an Austin 10.4 Tourer. Well, here we've got a Mark II version of the Austin A40 Farina from 1965. Big brother to the Somerset, this is the Austin A70 Hereford. And the Metropolitan, designed with the American market very much in mind, TDG602. And there's a rear view of a left-hand drive foreign registered Austin 10-4 Chrome Rad Saloon of 1932-34. Another review, this time of the Austin A35 pickup. Very rare vehicle, less than 500 were built. A pair of Austin 7 box saloons. That's a classic car show. And continuing with these classic Austins, we've got an A35 van, a restored example up at a motor museum near Carlisle. Looking slightly worse for wear, this Austin A90 Atlantic. Will this ever be restored or is it a parts car? This was seen down at the Goodwood Revival a few years ago, an Austin 7 Special. And 
This is an Austin 10 on Y wheels. Obviously, some modifications have been taking place there. Very smart. And there's a Ruby, complete with wicker basket on the rear luggage rack. And this is the Austin Mini Moke, designed with the Army in mind, although they weren't all that keen. This is a 1965 car. And out to pasture is this Austin A40 Mark II, slowly decomposing. There's a car I learned to drive on one of these, an Austin Mini Countryman, the estate's version of the classic Mini. There's another Metropolitan, this one was down at the Haynes Motor Museum. Another Austin 10.4 Chrome Rad Saloon, GY3536, 32-34, and an Austin A35 van in the livery of Anti-Pesto SWAT Team, the Wallace and Gromit van. This is the oldest Austin in this collection, a 1913 Austin 10 horsepower. SSK 593, that's an Austin 8. Here's an Austin 1100 or 1300, the ADO 16 car. Looking slightly sad is a narrow body Austin 10 for Chrome Rad Saloon. Some had a slightly wider body than others, that's the narrow bodied car. And a pair of Austin A40 Somerset here, awaiting their turn for glory. A close up of another Austin Allegro, this one was up at the Lakeland Motor Museum. A 1973 Austin Allegro two door super deluxe, it says. And here we've got an Austin Big 7 of the late 1930s. So the army now and an Austin K9. This was a militarized version of the Austin Lodestar lorry. Here's a very interesting little car. This was a factory prototype for a proposed A30 convertible. The only one built. And this is a replica of the Austin 7 Gordon England Cup. A very neat little car. Here was Austin's answer to the Land Rover, the Austin Gypsy. Steel bodied, unlike the Land Rover, which was alley bodied. Left hand drive Austin Mini Mark 1, arriving at the 60th birthday celebrations at Gaydon. And here we have a two door Austin A30. And the Austin Mini Metro. Continuing with classic Austins, here we've got an Austin 1300 in Harvest Gold, I believe. This mighty machine, BMC 239, that's an Austin Heavy 12.4 from 1934. Well, here we've got an A90 Westminster from 1955. Clearly well travelled. Here's an Austin 10.4, three position drop head coupe. I own that at one time. And this is an Austin 1800, 1967. Early A40 Farina Mark I with the flying A on the bonnet. Later Mark I's didn't have that. Needing restoration. Awaiting TLC is this Austin Cambridge from 1936-37. And an RAC Road Service A35 van. Glistening down at the Haynes Motor Museum was this Austin A90 Atlantic. Designed very much with the American market in mind, but never really caught on. And here's an ex-military Austin K-Series lorry. A very rare vehicle now, an Austin 7 van. Staying with the pre-war years, here's another Austin 10-4 saloon, a chrome rad saloon of 32 to 34. This is a wide body car. And that's followed by an early 50s Austin A40 Somerset. Here's a mini moke hanging from the rafters. An Austin minivan with a J40 pedal car on its roof. This was down at the Goodwood Revival a couple of years ago. Here's John Haynes, founder of the uh, Haynes 
Publishing Empire. This was his old Austin 7 special. And a review of an A40 Countryman Mark II, this time with the tailgate closed. A split tailgate, of course. 1966 car. BOR 734, that's a 1936 Austin 10 Cambridge with a Morris Minor alongside. Here's another Maxi, this one from the late 1970s, complete with period vinyl roof. Another wonderful vintage Austin. I'm guessing another Austin 12. Here we've got an Austin A40 Countryman from the Devon and Somerset era with sliding rear side windows. A very rare car now. There's an Austin A35, a two door with a period roof rack and luggage on its roof. A side view of an Austin uh, lorry converted into an outside broadcast van. See a Lodestar. This is an Austin 10 for Litchfield, which was based on the earlier chrome rad, but with a painted radiator surround now. This delightful little vehicle is based on the Austin K8. There's a recreated garage scene with a mannequin working on a ruby. Looking a little worse for wear is this Austin based van of the 1930s. Hopefully that will get rescued one day. And an Austin A35 with an Austin Healy Sprite alongside. There's a rear three quarter view of a Austin 7 Ulster replica. The great Austin A40 Somerset 468YUL with an A35 alongside for good measure. In the foreground here we've got an Austin A60 Cambridge, while looking on behind it is an A35 in cream. There's a good old ruby in a fairly unusual colour. Here's my old Austin A40 Devon from 1949. wonder how that's getting on now. There's a slightly modified Austin A40 Farina Mark I on Mini Light replica wheels. Well, this is a Austin A50 Cambridge with the 1500B series engine in it. To the early 1970s now, and this is an Austin 1300GT. While well, going back to the 1920s, we have this Austin 7 Chummy, a fairly early example with the headlamps mounted on the scuttle rather than on the front wings. If anyone could add more information on this Austin taxi, I'd very much welcome it in the comments section. Appears to be French registered, that was seen at Goodwood. Here's another A40 Somerset, black example. The Morris van alongside. Here's an Austin 8 or an Austin 10. Something of a restoration project, or probably a spares donor to be honest. Austin K-Series Army Lorry. Continuing with the classic Austins, we have this A40 van, fairly late example with a painted front grille and the fixed rear wheel arches as opposed to the removable arches of the earlier vans. And this fine machine is another example of the light 12 4 pickup of the mid 1930s. Built for racing is this A35 two door. An Austin K2. Primarily this is just Austin cars, but in a nod to the uh, collaboration between Austin and Healy, we've got a Mark 1 Sprite here, followed by a big Healy, somewhat modified, looking very fantastic I must say. Here we've got an Austin Heavy 12 4, chrome radiator car of the early to mid 1930s. And this is an Austin A55 half ton van, quite a rare survivor because light vans, pickups, etc. They get worked hard and rarely survive. And here's another commercial version. This is an Austin FFK lorry driving towards us. A55 Cambridge Mark I, PUN645. A very smart two-tone car. And here we've got an Austin 6 DE8572. Converted to rally spec is this Austin 1800. 
is an Austin 7 Nippy. Well, DX0680, that's a light 12 Fortora of 1937. An Austin K2 breakdown truck, late 1940s. An Austin Mini Mark 1, DSK970, with period Evershaw roof rack on the roof. And a mini based Batman style ice cream van, no less. This fine machine is an Austin 12 for low loader London taxi, CLB 572 of the 1930s. And here is the Austin 3 litre, a car that didn't sell in large numbers at all based on the Austin 1800 Land Crab range. And here is the second of the 10 4 Ripley Sports of the 1930s to feature in this collection of photographs. And seen here at rest is a 1967 Austin Westminster. Well, GP7171, that's a 1931 swallow bodied Austin 7. There's a Mark 2A40 on midget wheels and big lamps, etc. And this is the Austin Pathfinder pedal car based on their twin cam racer of the 1930s. Lovely little thing that is. And this is a real rarity. This is an Austin A30 Countryman with the sliding rear side windows. Many people converted vans and added their own windows, but I believe that's a factory uh, countryman. Here we've got an Austin 12. And an A95 Westminster. Very smart car. And here we have a very late example of the Austin badged 600 weight or 800 weight van. Obviously Morris Minor based, but that was the Austin version. Here we've got an Austin A60 Countryman, the estate version of the Big Farina. And another Austin K8 based minibus. And rounding out this collection of classic Austin car photos is this Austin 12 Woody of the 1930s, a one-off car seen here awaiting restoration. No prizes for guessing what this bit of topiary was based upon. So that was the collection of classic Austin car photographs um, for this particular video. I hope that was of interest. Please look around the rest of the channel. More videos very soon. Thanks for now. Bye bye.